All right, so I'm going to tie a fly that I'm going to affectionately call the uh, Pound Store Pie Fly because everything bar the eyes is doing this. I bought today at the Pound Store. So I'm using a bit of in here. And the tail, I'm going to use this. This is a Christmas shred. There are Pound Stores and bargain stores and stuff like that at this time of year I tend to stock this kind of stuff so I'm just going to pull that through my hands until I get sort of like bunches of it Set that on. Tie it on about sort of three quarters of the way along itself. And then fold it back. Tie it in. And then Pound Store Super Glue. I actually quite like those for tying pipe flies anyway because they're very watery and they tend to soak into your tying thread very well. Christmas tinsel, very large. I thought this would create a a big bunny. Miss the wire. Look for ones that have a a wire core, because that'll allow you to. Tie it in and uh, add a little bit of protection against the pike's teeth. I put on a couple of wraps of that. And then let it hang. Now the wire should keep it in place. And then we'll take another bunch of our Silver shred. I'm going to tie that in on top there and fold it back on itself doubled. And this will essentially create like a wing or Mohican sort of style to it. Again, dab of super glue because watery ran all through it. As I'm wrapping this, I'm going to try and Sort of fold it back like a hackle a little bit. Put the front here. I'm going to wrap through that. Fold it back on itself and wrap that down. Then we'll take our pliers and cut through the the wire of the tinsel. Soak into that tying point. And I'll also sort of keep that back a little bit at the head. And then we'll go for another bunch of our silver tinsel. Set it on, fold it back. Ahead of this, I'm going to use uh, this, which was a, a grey fluffy pillow. That again, I got at the 
Pine Store. And just going to cut a strip of that. It's a grey, silvery grey sort of uh, craft fur. So I've cut that into like a Zonker style strip. And I'm going to tie that in. where I'm going to wrap that. I'm going to soak that a little bit with super glue so that as I wrap on my craft fur it should stick the uh, base fabric of that down. because it's to give me something to stick the eye to. It's quite difficult to stick it to the, the tinsel portion. I'll snip that off. Cut through my base fabric there. store thing you could probably go and buy a set of kids google eyes or goggle eye things but I'm gonna use these 3D red eyes here and I'm gonna use my usual Evo stick serious glue to put those on with so I'll put a blob of glue on the back of the eye. want to get that a little bit over the rim of the eye and that'll help secure it and stop it from delaminating. So there you can see it is our Pine Store eye fly. The tube fly probably what 10 11 inches long and because of the tinsel it's not very aerodynamic so therefore it's not very hydrodynamic and it'll push a lot of water, it makes a lot of commotion and hopefully it'll catch a few pike. <laughs> <laughs> 